If you're not happy in the life that you have, you can change it. You can change it. Hello YouTube, it's me, it's Erin, and welcome back to another video. For today's video, I'm reviewing more of a serious video, and I'm going to be talking about my semester off experience and why deciding to take a semester off of college was the best decision that I ever made for myself. And I know talking about semesters off or gap years can sometimes be taboo topics, but I really wanted to be upfront and personal on my channel because this semester right now, I did decide to take off of my school, and I won't be going back to my school actually. And if you saw my college dorm, tour video I ended up deciding to take it down because I'm not going back to the school and I just felt kind of uncomfortable leaving it up. I never really addressed that I left or that I'm taking a semester off currently so I kind of just decided to combine all in this video. I won't be going too much into why I decided to leave the school but I mean if you want a more in-depth version I could talk about more of the reasons but this video is just going to be about my semester off experience. So as I mentioned previously I've never really filmed at my old school. I filmed a college morning routine and I filmed a what to wear episode. I want to make more of those but I just haven't gotten around to it. I never really filmed videos at the school just because I didn't feel comfortable and I didn't really feel motivated at the school to be myself. Not only did I not feel that the school was a perfect fit for me, nothing against the school, great school, great area. I met great people that I still talk to on a daily basis now but it just wasn't the perfect fit for me and also my major wasn't the perfect fit. If you've seen any of my videos in the past I'm pretty sure I've talked about that my major was social work and not that it's not a good major to go into but I just felt like it wasn't me and I was trying to conform and like put myself into a box of the person that I thought I should be when it really wasn't who I was at all. My entire life I've been more of a creative person. When I was younger I wanted to be an author and I would always write short stories and I always had film ideas running in my head but I just kind of pushed it off and thought that I should pick like a normal career. I realized that wanting to be more creative isn't a bad thing and it shouldn't be something that I should feel ashamed about. In December 2016 I made my YouTube channel that I've been wanting to make for years but I didn't want to be bullied in high school or people to make fun of me and I was kind of insecure about myself and really the past six months I've learned more about who I am and who I want to be and really making this YouTube channel and embracing it and telling people about it and sharing my interest in video production has really made me more confident in myself and it makes me so happy that I have this YouTube channel and I, I know a lot of people don't watch my videos but I'm still super proud about it and I'm so happy to share it because I really feel like it's a perfect representation of me and all of my interests. But after finishing my entire year and coming home for the summer, I finally got back into being myself. I started getting back into YouTube and doing things that really made me happy. And my mental health really suffered in college and it was a really big deal for me. I was not being the best person that I could be. And college is really supposed to be like the best four years of your life and you're supposed to be thriving and finding your interests. And I felt like I was just really stagnant. So my school year ended in about mid-May of 2017. And when I came home for a month, I was so excited to be home. Like I was working full time. I was making YouTube videos. I was just being my authentic self. And I was really like thriving here. And it's not like I need to be home to thrive but I feel like I really had to almost recover from everything like all of the mental trauma that the school year brought on to me and it was really hard for me and I felt like I was finally getting back to myself. All my friends that you've met before like Ariel, Lizzie, and Dan were just all talking about how they couldn't wait to get back to school and they were so excited to go back to Boston and do all of the exciting things that comes with school and I was just having panic attacks every single night thinking about going back. I was just getting so anxious even remotely thinking about going back. Like I would cry about it. Like I just didn't want to. Not only did I not feel at home or comfortable at the school, I also just didn't like my major at all. And I feel like I was just living somebody else's life and I was just really stagnant in my personal growth. And then one night my friend Ariel was talking to me and I was just talking about how I really didn't want to go back. I was just almost settling for this kind of life. And she was like, here's an idea, why don't you not go back? And I was like, I can do that? I just feel like I was really stagnant in my personal growth and it wasn't until that moment that I didn't even think about it. But I'm not a person to make rash decisions at all or to present an idea to somebody unless I know exactly what I'm doing. So I didn't really tell my parents that I didn't want to go back. So I was just working full time and I was working on YouTube and really figuring out what I wanted out of my life. It took me a while and a lot of thinking with myself and sitting with myself to realize that this life in Newport and studying social work was not what I wanted to do. For a while I was like, oh maybe I can just stick it out. Like I can just do it. Like this is a normal life that people should want. I've said this like 40 times but I felt like I was really stagnant in my self growth and I wasn't turning to the person that I wanted to be. And I was thinking about like my younger self and how I wanted myself to be happy and I wanted myself to be successful and the career that I wanted. I feel like high school pressures you into choosing a path right away. Part of me wishes I took a gap year before I went to college but also a part of me is 
really happy that I got that college experience and then I got to meet all the people that I did. And this video is not me dropping out of college because I actually got accepted today officially into the school that I want to transfer to. Once I actually enroll and get into it, I'll probably release the name. I'm not going to be releasing it right now just for privacy reasons. So in June, I really came to terms with this is not the life that I want to be living. I shouldn't be so anxious and upset to be going back to this place that should be my home. Like my school should be where I feel most comfortable, where I'm learning, where I'm growing and just enriching myself with all of these ideas that I want to learn about but just social work was not the major that I wanted to be like I was not excited to learn about it like I was not interested to go to my classes and all my other friends were talking about how they're so excited for about their ma majors and they love it I could have just changed my major at Salve but I just didn't feel comfortable at the school and I wanted a fresh start like I wanted to go to a place that I was excited to go back to and like there's a difference between like getting off of a school break and not wanting to go back to the school work and there's a difference between like being so anxious that like you could cry thinking about going back to the school at all. In June I finally sat my parents down and I talked to them about all of the problems I've been having and all of the issues that had been going around in my head and we had a really long talk and I cried a lot. My parents understood where I was coming from because they know all the struggles that I had throughout my entire freshman year of college. If you're struggling in college, there's a difference between your mental health suffering and just having a hard time transitioning. Just like my experience. Like, Salve Regina is a great school, beautiful. I love the campus. The president is the most amazing woman I've ever met. I loved the experience that I got from there, but it was just not the school for me. It was not a perfect fit at all. After talking to my parents, I decided to take a semester off of school and I would be going back. I had never once thought that I was not going to be going to school. People were like, oh, I took a semester off and I didn't go back. But I was like, I'm not you. Like, this is my life. I wanted to take a semester off. I wanted to recover from everything that happened. I wanted to pick a school that I loved and I was excited to go back to. I wanted to pick a major that I was excited and passionate about. And that's exactly what I did over this semester off. Now, transitioning into my actual semester off experience. First when I decided to take a semester off I was really nervous and I was really anxious because I was like what if I don't go back? I was just really nervous taking this semester off because I was like what if I don't find myself over this semester off? What if I don't discover what I want to do? At first I was really anxious about taking the semester off because I was like oh what if people judge me? What if people look down on me? But I don't care. The only people's opinions I cared about were my parents and then my best friends and they all every single person supported me and for a while I didn't even tell like my extended family not that I thought that they would judge me here I was secure in my decision because I didn't want to go back but I was really nervous because I would tell adults in my life and they would say oh I took a semester off and I never went back I was like I am going back I had a lot of people say that oh you're not gonna go back like I thought I would and I didn't but I am I got accepted into the school I wanted to transfer to and I'm so excited to like begin this new chapter in my life I just really wanted to make a video about my semester off experience to kind of motivate you that if you're thinking about taking a semester off or a year off or a gap year you can do it and you don't need to listen to what other people are saying to you because in my semester off I was able to work full-time and save tons of money I was able to work on my YouTube videos and my YouTube channel and kind of advance it. I was able to work on myself and kind of get down to the root of me and what I want to do with my life. I was able to find a school that I love and I didn't want to even leave when I went to the open house. I was able to find a major, communications and video production that I'm so passionate about and I cannot wait to start doing. And so I really want to make this video to speak to you right now. If you're thinking about taking a gap year, a semester off, a year off, do your research really, but I just wanted to have a personal experience coming from me in a video that could really help you, that you can do it. It's not embarrassing or it makes you less of a person to take a semester off. If anything, it'll end up making you a stronger person because you'll really get down to your ideals and your morals and what you want out of your life, not what you think other people want you to do with your life and not what other people make you into a box of what you should do. If you go to community college before college, it's not bad. I did get a really good experience at Salva and I'm really grateful for everything that it taught me about what I want in my life and what I want for me. If you're watching this video, do not be embarrassed that you're thinking about taking a semester off or a gap year off. Talk to your parents, talk to your family members, talk to the people that matter to you and get their opinions, but in the end, it only matters what you think of yourself. I saved so much money and I've really began to love myself again because I want to make a video about this too, but I really lost my self-worth in my first year of college. In my semester off, I learned to love myself again. I found a major that I love. I got so much closer with my family and I can even begin to be more grateful for it than I ever have. I've just been more at ease with myself and 
my decisions and I've learned that only my opinion of myself matters. I know this sounded like kind of a ranty video, but I think it has a really important message. If you didn't listen to anything in this video at all, I just wanted to say that your opinion matters and listen to your heart. It sounds so cliche and cheesy, but listen to your heart and what you want and what you know is best for you because if you're not happy in the life that you have, you can change it. You can change it. I was not happy in the life that I had, so I made the decision and here I am now. A year from now, I was so dependent on other people, insecure, I had low self-worth, I hadn't even started my channel yet, that's so crazy to think about. If you get anything in this video, if you don't like your life, you are the one that can change it, you are the only one that can make the decision for it. But thank you so much for watching this video, I really, really, really hope that you got something out of it, and that it really changed your perspective on your life and what you can do for it. If you want me to make more videos like this, definitely let me know, and subscribe if you're new, because now that I got this off my chest, I can definitely be more personal with you guys. I wasn't embarrassed of my decision before but I wasn't sure if it was the best thing I could have done for myself but now that I wholeheartedly know that this semester off was the best decision that I could have ever made for me I know that I will be making way more personal videos and more upfront videos in the future so that I can be more open with you guys and stop being so private about my life but thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video bye